I'm about to play against Judith Polger. The strongest woman in history at chess. She's been top 10 in the overall rankings. I think she's been seventh as the highest rated in the world. 2,700 better than any of us will ever be. And uh, a legend. So she was once also the youngest grandmaster in history, breaking Fisher's record. Like that is crazy. That is crazy. Incredibly strong chess player. All right, chat. Let's do this. Let's beat Judith Polgar or let's try to beat Judith Polgar. Friendly? No, we're going to go for challenge. Okay, I have the white pieces. I look forward to the challenge of beating you. <laughs> okay, I'm going D4. At the top level, it's important to play multiple opening moves to avoid predictability. But I have other ways of being unpredictable. You'll see. Okay, I'm going to C4. What's she going to do? Is it going to be a King's Indian? Or is she going to go for a Grunfeld? I'm going to go Knight C3. Is there anybody that believes that I can win this? Let me know in the comments. And also, you watching this live, let me know in chat. But this is going to be a YouTube video, so I'm just saying it for then too. Do you believe... Nobody believes. <laughs> she is trash talking me whilst educating me. The worst trash talk that exists. All right. So let's go for my favorite line. The Macagana variation. H3. Now I think... Let's see. What line do I play? Do I play bishop e3? I think I'm actually going to go knight f3 and play what I know the best. So knight f3, now I'm going to go d5. The idea now is just, uh, yeah, knight here, and now bishop g5. If h6, I will go bishop e3, and the idea is just that then I'm provoking this move. So I'm going bishop e2. Bishop e3. If knight here, I'll go there. I'm going to go g4 before anything. And now I will be castling queen side. So, I can go queen d2, that is one idea. Queen d2, king h7, I'm pushing. But I feel like it's maybe a little bit, um... I could do it though. Queen d2. Push, knight here. Um... And then I almost have to take knight takes. Oh, but then I have check. Okay. I mean, I feel like I have to do this. Yeah, so let's go queen d2. Or are we going to see knight here? Why did I not think this through first? I shouldn't. Oh, I should know that I'm playing against the 2700. Okay, so we did see... <laughs> We did see that move. Um, yep. So knight c5. <laughs> the prediction is insane. It's not already lost. We need to understand that. Like, hold your horses, okay? It's not already lost. It's just maybe not like... <laughs> it's just that I lost the tempo. But I mean, it doesn't have to be that bad. I can definitely take, if I take here, the knight, no, that's not good. I'm actually going to take, I think, and then go long castles. Captures often means tactics are on the board and I like tactical games. The idea now is just going to be to go rook g1 and then push. Other idea could be to go here, but I'm not really going to do that yet. I want to go here, so I'm probably... I'm going to go rook g1 and then I'm just going to start pushing. That's going to be my plan for sure. So a6, she's preparing b5. I could go queen e3. Threaten the pawn. Maybe that is the idea of this, that she has queen e7. I don't necessarily want this because there's... Mm. 
plan is to go here. Maybe actually this is the move. But then what I'm feeling is that this move was uh, unnecessary. I think here maybe I should have gone g5. I should have gone queen e3. Queen e7. And push. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So, so I, I need to think here because we're playing against Judith Polger. So, you know, I can't flag. There's no time involved. I need to think here. Hmm. So, do I go h4? G5. I think g I think g5 is the move because knight here. I have pawn takes h6. Knight push. Knight. I don't think it's that bad. This, this, and takes. Queen takes, perhaps, actually. Yes, queen takes. Knight h5. Knight h5. No, knight takes. This knight takes and push. Yeah, we're gonna go here. And then now my plan is to push, simply. Oh, b5. She's already played a move. So I definitely don't want to take here because this rook is going to become insanely good. So the question is h4. What happens then? h4, b4. Knight d1. This is defended. Bishop here. I have f3. I mean, this knight is not bad and I am threatening to push. I think we just keep going. I don't think this is okay it, it is probably good because she's playing it but my plan now is to go knight d1 i think this is the only place knight b1 makes no sense because i have no continuation for this knight so i like knight d1 more and then bishop h6 this is what i calculated now the threat is to take and then take so i have to go uh, if i go f3 then i don't really like it because then i'm blocking for those bishops i think queen e3 is better takes takes i wouldn't really mind uh queen e3 also kind of threatens this pawn so mm, f4 f4 mm, f4 takes 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 i mean she's almost getting checkmated here Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Hmm. Need to think a little bit. Need to think a little bit. Need to contemplate my options. So the two options that I have is going something like a four, where it takes and takes. Uh, there's rook takes then. Yeah. No. So a four I don't like. It's a bit too crazy f3 i don't like mm. i think i like queen e3 i think i'm gonna do it i don't think i'm missing anything oh c6 so i'm getting a free pawn but what if i push now i need to be fast with whatever i do i need to be fast Wait, isn't this really good for me? I don't need to, like, care about this. Like, you know, bye-bye to the pawn. We, you know, take it. But here we have things. Like, push. And then if I can take here, I open up the H file. And takes. I go rook takes. This is defending. Oh, is she gonna go knight there? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, don't don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. 
Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> it's not a Botas Gambit. It's just not a good move. I have to go Rook takes. Wait. Rook takes, bishop takes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a few issues. Okay, let me see if I can get it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's things to analyze here. We're laughing too soon. Wait. Pawn takes. If you take back, I take here. Then I've solved all my issues pretty much. I mean, maybe I should throw this in between, but doesn't matter. That is not the point. The point is pawn takes. Bishop takes g5. Pawn takes f7. Oh, you just take back. King takes rook check. Yeah, so it's the same here. If I go rook takes first, bishop takes, takes, takes. Mm. Takes, takes, rook check. King. King. Hmm. Okay, I'm really trying to find some magic. Um, there's a lot of things. There's also the idea of going f4. No, sorry. So going rook takes knight, bishop takes f4. Pawn takes f4. Pawn takes g6. Pawn takes queen. Takes on f7. Check. King f8. I mean, there's a lot of things. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, maybe Cairo, thank you so much for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Let me, let me try to find something. Bishop takes g4 doesn't work because of this. Only move really here is, actually the only move here is to go rook takes. Um, I believe, and then I need to figure something out. But that is, I think it's something. No, there's other moves. Queen g3. Bishop check. King here. Knight is pinned. Because if knight moves this, I take this. Wait. F5. I take. This gives me some... No, I go F3. Now this gives me some chances. Queen g3, queen takes knight, king b1, still threatening this, you cannot move it. Wait a second, I am not lost here. Wait, I have queen g3. I have queen g3. Wait, 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 I'm getting really excited. Queen 
g3. Queen takes king. F5 is the only thing I see. I go f3. F4. No, then I have queen. Queen h3. No, this is uh, the move for sure. I gave up on chess. h5 okay so i was i was plus two i can beat this ball i was plus two excuse me i was plus two and i had to just go king b1 to prepare for this move oh wow i was actually doing so good then i did this terrible move knight g4 i knew this wasn't that bad ah so i'm actually not i'm better here I got so mind like tricked. I thought I was losing. Just had to find the move. So bishop takes g4. Oh, I had to just like play this. What? I had to just have a knight against the queen. I mean, this is not easy to see, honestly. Like I'm literally a knight versus queen here. Like this is not easy to see. Like. I don't I, I didn't consider that I could play this. This is actually insane. Knight versus queen. The idea is that after f takes, rook takes, like the king is so weak. So I have rook h h6. But I mean, wow. And then knight f5, and actually, the knight and the rooks are just so strong that it's almost better than than wow. And this is equal. That is insane. That would have been like the craziest game I've played in my life if I did this. <laughs> 